Hey, Brian from Workspace Admins here. Today we'll show you how do we set up Azure AD or Microsoft as the identity provider for Google Workspace. So I have uh, Azure portal open on the left and I also have documentation from Google Cloud as well as Microsoft that you can follow. So we will provide a link to these documents in the video description. So we'll uh, go ahead and follow the one from Google uh, since we are a Google domain. So here, Google's documentation starts with provisioning first, but we'll actually scroll right to the bottom for configuring Azure AD for single sign-on. So it says to go to Azure AD directory enterprise application. So this is where I am, am, I'm at, and I have a pre-selected Google Cloud, G Suite connected by Microsoft. So I'll just click on create. So while that's getting created, I will just uh, open a new tab and go to my apps, microsoft.com for my applications. So I'll go to single sign on, I'll select SAML. So you need to provide your entity ID, reply URL, and single sign on URL. So I'll go down here. So I'll edit here. Entity ID can just be google.com. Reply URL is also google.com, but with HTTPS. Sign on URL is the URL to which you want to redirect the users if the requests are coming from your identity provider. So in our case, since we will be using a cloud identity free account, we will just launch them into the dashboard. So it's HTTPS, www.google.com, a workspace, admins.org, service, login, continue, https, workspace.google.com, slash dashboard. So I'm going to hit save. So I'll just delete these wildcard wild card ones because I don't actually need them. So now I'll go ahead and download the base 64 certificate here. So now that's been downloaded. And I'll go to the security settings here. Authentication, access with third party IDP. So we will change this from Okta to Microsoft. So sign in page URL, sign up page URL. So I'll just get those ones. So that's the login URL. In sign out page in the change password will be the same for all Azure AD tenant. I'll replace certificate from Okta to Microsoft. And I don't need to check the main specific issuer, so I'll just go ahead and hit save. Actually, I pasted in the wrong pass sign at URL, so sign at URL, I'll grab it again. Change password URL is at the bottom. So that's been changed. So now let's go ahead and 
assign this. So go back to users and groups. So from here, uh, we have a free Azure AD plan. So if you have a paid Azure AD subscription, you will be able to use groups to assign it. So we have Brian at gws.wf. That's my account. So I'll just go ahead and hit select, assign. So it's, in, it's been assigned to the user. So let's just go back to properties or actually single sign on. So here is where you do the mapping. So if you scroll back up, so let's get take a look. Azure AD a single sign-on. Configure Azure AD for single sign-on. So we create an enterprise enterprise app. We just assign to a user and SML settings we've configured, and we need to map by UPM. So attributes and claims. So it says to delete all claims listed under additional claims because these are not necessary. So if you have non-ASCII characters in the user's display name, this is particularly important because they are Unnecessary in the SAML claims, but if they can if they come through, sometimes you will run into an error. So Google calls this out specifically, which is good for us. So we'll just map by UPN. So user principal name will match the user's name in Google. But you have you also have an option to map by the user's email. So now what I'm going to do is find myself Brian underscore SSO. I'll rename this user to Brian on Brian at gws.wtf. So that's done. And as you always should, let's first test from a service provider. So Brian at GWS WTF. So this now redirects me to Azure AD. So Brian at GWS WTF. And I will need to enter my password. So I was able to complete my sign in using Azure AD when it was initiated from Google. So now I'll just close that and start over. So I'll start go to my applications at Microsoft.com. Brian at GWS WTF. And this should track me to my applications because I haven't launched the app yet, but now I should see Google. And this will take me directly to the dashboard. So this is how you set up SSO using Azure AD uh, into Google Workspace or federating Google Workspace as Azure AD as your identity provider. So I hope you found this video useful. And if you like this video, please subscribe to our channel. If you have any questions, leave us comments below and we'll get back to you. Thanks.